Hey guys, do you ever need to use double bass and electric bass at the same gig but you can really only take one amp? That's exactly what I'm doing at the moment, so I'm going to do a rig rundown of my setup so you can do exactly that yourself. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm doing something a little bit different this week. Um, if you saw my last video, you probably would have known that I'm doing a theatre show run at the moment for the show Catch Me If You Can, which is on here at this new venue at town called The Piano. Um, it's a great show, lots of big band music, and I have to switch a lot between double bass and electric bass quite quickly. So I've got a setup where I'm having to run double and electric off of one amp, and I thought I'll show you guys how I've got my rig set up to do that. But if you guys didn't know, I live in Christchurch, New Zealand. Now, there's a big bus going past. Okay, so I live in Christchurch, New Zealand, and we actually had a whole heap of major earthquakes back in 2010. So a lot of our CBD, in fact, 90% of the CBD here actually had to be demolished and is still being rebuilt, which is why if you look around here, you'll see the foundations and empty lots. This is the main city centre, but we're getting new buildings and venues being built all the time, like this one called The Piano. And it's a fantastic venue, um, small venue for short theatre show run. Um, speaking of which, this show is only on for three nights and I only got the music, we started rehearsing it last Sunday. So next week I really want to go and do some videos for you guys on sight reading and how you can, you know, in this situation, learn an entire show in the space of a week and just my tips and tricks for getting faster at sight reading a journey. But let me show you my rig, I'll head into the theatre and break it down for you guys. So here's my setup for the show. I was using the Mark Bass Little Mark Tube 800 plugged into the Mark Bass 210 cab. The Mark Bass Tube 800 is perfect for this sort of thing as it has two separate inputs with two separate gain controls. So my electric bass is plugged straight into the jack only input one on the amp. I didn't need any bass effects for this show so my pedal board was at home but usually if I needed that as well that would be plugged in between the bass and the amp here. And as you can see I have the gain level set quite low to counter for the low gain level received from the double bass. So that was pretty straightforward. The double bass however was plugged into two extra devices that was helping me to control my levels and EQ separately to the electric. Firstly it's plugged into the Ernie Ball volume pedal which meant that I could have hands free control over my volume between the jazz walking sections and the bowed sections of the score. Also allowing me to quickly mute the bass as soon as I had to put it on the stand and switch to electric. Then it's plugged into the Fishman double bass preamp. This thing is amazing and basically turns your double bass into an active bass. And allows me to have separate EQ and gain settings for the double bass. This is really important because a good EQ setting for your electric bass is not a good EQ setting for the double bass. So I have this preamp plugged into the XLR input 2 on the Mark bass amp and I'm running it off of phantom power. So that means I don't have to worry about any batteries or power supplies to run the preamp. You can see here that the phantom power light lights up on the preamp when I flick it on. If you play double bass through an amp, I highly suggest you look at getting yourself a dedicated double bass preamp. A couple other random tips from me about playing in this show is always keep a couple of post-it notes and a pencil nearby so you can write down those pesky tricky bars you missed in last night's show and remind yourself to practice them again tonight before tonight's show. And on the side here is my patent pending design for a bow holder. I don't actually own a bow quiver but I like how quick and easy it is to put your bow on the side of your stand with a piece of bamboo and a bit of duct tape. It's cheap, it's easy and it does the trick. So just to recap, the most important thing about running a double bass and an electric bass off of just one electric rig is making sure you have some kind of separate EQ and volume control for each individual line. I managed to achieve this by using the Ernie Ball volume pedal, the Fishman double bass preamp and the fact that I own the Mark Bass Tube 800 head which happens to have two individual inputs and gain controls on the amp itself. But if your amp doesn't happen to have two inputs with separate gain controls, you can achieve a similar result by using an AB foot switch pedal, perhaps a tuner on each line as a mute and also a bass EQ pedal so you can dial in the specific EQ settings for the double bass. Okay, so that's it. Now, I hope that's given you guys some ideas about how you can run a two bass off of one amp setup at a gig if you ever have to in the future. And I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys any footage from the actual show itself, but I like not getting copyright strikes and musical theatre companies are very protective of their shows. But if you've enjoyed this type of gig, vlog, gear, breakdown video, then please leave it a like, and then let me know if you guys have any kind of gear or performing questions that you want me to answer in a future video. Playing and teaching bass has been my full time job for over 12 years now so please feel free to ask me any bass related questions at all. And if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to become part of the bass squad. But that's all for today guys so until next time go play, practice and play some more. Hey thanks for watching. 
click the logo in the middle here to subscribe to the channel and then click on one of these two videos next. Rumour has it, one of them leads to the greatest cat video of all time, but you won't know unless you click.